Well, I need to welcome you back, and we'll see what the big story for today. We're talking about three years after. How better to improve that relationship uh, between Nigerians and the security agencies? Looking at um, the aftermath of what happened on the 8th of October 2020, and uh, well, what better way to improve that relationship and bring about that uh, close existence and cooperation uh, between Nigerians and security agencies is what this edition of The Big Story is all about. You truly agree with me that in recent time, uh, Miss Security has uh, really flourished, uh, if you allow me to say so. And uh, while many will say it's because of that lack of working understanding between Nigerians and uh, the security agencies, but how can we bring that back knowing that we are the ones that truly suffer on account of insecurity and, well, a better working relationship or a better understanding is what this edition is all about. But you do know I still have my guests. I'm talking of activist Israel Joe right here in the studio with me. But what we'll do now is go on a quick break. You know we need to go get a message from our sponsors, our proud sponsors. And we're talking of Benita Gas, located right here in Ugeli or Kokoko, Worry and Environs. And we'll come back. More discussion on the big story. Hey, well, you get it. How best you want to talk about gas matter? Make a Benetta gas plant. No, sit down for it matter. Gas when we say it in light and last well. Now, Benetta gas plant, now you feel them. Gas when the foolish mark, back, back, back. Now, Benetta gas plant, now you feel them. And for any type and size of gas cylinder, plus all accessories, now Benetta gas plant, now they touch light up. Now, every day, now Benetta gas plant, they open up from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. On top refill matters. Oh, yeah, make you visit any Benetta gas plant branch. If you feel enter inside of Queen's of Jackman Road, opposite UBA for PTI Road and through Nehemiah Junction, near former Ami Checkpoint for Okwa Koko, all 101, Ajami Moga Ekwe Road, Wari, all 145, Ugeli Patani Expressway, by Aviasari Junction when Kare Ai, they look shiki man, and NNPC Roundabout for East Soko Road for Sajad Quarters for Ugeli. For more information, make you call Beneta Gas Plant for 080-67457890. Beneta Gas Plant. Now God, they are back. You know, we can always be a part of it. And all you need to do is come over here and let's talk business and you'll be a part of the big story. But anyway, it is big and it's timely, knowing that it's three years after. And we're talking about, um, well, aftermath of the NSAS protest. But uh, what should follow? Uh, should it not be hinged on the far that we should see how we can better uh, create a working relationship within uh, Nigerians and as the citizens and uh, the Nigerian police force or that security agencies. Like I said, we still have no other person but activist Israel Joe with us uh, looking at the issues. Yes, uh, we've highlighted um, the recent mistrust or distrust between Nigerians and um, the security agencies, but, but it, it will not do us well if we keep uh, hinging on that fact at the end we'll still suffer uh, but but let me quickly ask you as much as we've highlighted the problem uh, that seems to exist how can we better mend fences number one and number two improve on that trust and at the end in every way improve on security that we truly need at these trying times i think that um, the authorities are the ones that are responsible for you know fundamentally pushing us into having that confidence that um, on them. Okay. And um, it brings me to, you know, appraising the um, hierarchy of the Nigerian police force in the first headquarters. You know, they have been doing well recently. If you go on to, what ground? Yes, on the ground of discipline of their men. Okay. Some of their men that were found in a brutal, brutalizing Nigerians on the road, mm. just with video evidence or Extraction over detention. Do you see the way the authorities of the police take it so so serious? They are so serious about it to the point of even parading these officers mm. on camera. Mm. The AC would they recently they dismissed some officers on camera mm. for extraction. That tells you how much the authorities of the police they are trying their possible best to bring sanity to the um, system in terms of. Uh, uh, um, just opposing the pre and post answer saga and bring get into for the the, the, the the improvement that will better the security uh, um, um, sec uh, section of the Nigerian state. So it is important to state emphatically and uh, fundamentally that it's the police authority that would push us into trusting them again. They will push us into believing them again. And if you look at the whole um, level of trust 
in terms of the Nigerian people and the um, uh, police authority as the um, as regards the post NSAS saga, you go to the police um, social media pages, the Twitter pages, the, uh, the X page, the um, Facebook page, the Instagram. When you read comments, you discover that Nigerians are trying to build this trust again. The pre NSAS era. If, the, if there are posts from the police authority, you see a whole lot of condemnation <laughs> to the point that sometimes the police will have to lock some commands. They have to lock their section uh, uh, above <laughs> of their post. But now, you see people trying to come up with like, okay, you guys are doing well. <laughs> you are improving. <laughs> we trust you. They are making you a part. The, public complaint, uh, the response complaint unit, you see the complaint response unit, you see people extrolling those avenues to make reports even as to issues happening in divisions, <laughs> different parts of the country, they make reports and there are almost instant yeah, because, but because that, 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 that's, where, that's where I was going to because how, how quick are the response to most of these complaints? When you mention them on Twitter, they respond almost immediately. Almost immediately. On airing officer. Yes, on airing officer. When you tell them that I'm being detained, I'm, I'm looking for justice in terms of what these men in so and so and so division has done to me, immediately they give you a query number and calls are placed through. So on that, we should be able to appraise the police. But I can tell you confidently that in most of the divisions, there are still gross extortion, brutality, victimization over detention still happening in a lot of divisions in Nigeria, even from the tactical teams. When you are traveling, you know, the safer highway, the, 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 the RRS, and, but in as much as those little, little errors still, still occur, I think the police authority are doing well in terms of nipping those errors on the board. Okay, now let, let, let's, let's, let's also look at it and, and look at it on a wider scale. And let's look at the morale of the Nigerian police force because that will also hinge their performance. And let's look at that. Yes, uh, the U.S. Acting Inspector General of Police, uh, when he assumed office, he said uh, the morale of the officers will be looked into and he believes strongly on that. Looking at the morale, trying to improve on it and see how he can better um, make them more effective in driving home most of the demands of uh, the citizens. But uh, as much as we're looking at the morals, he also made mention of really what you've now talked about, dealing with erring officers, ensuring he, he does that. Now let's look at the morale of the Nigerian police force and how that will also change their perception of how Nigerians are being looked at and also change the belief we have in the system. The fact is that um, the Nigerian leadership Mm. is absolutely failing us. The Nigerian leadership, they are failing Nigerians in almost every sector. Let's not go to the health sector, let's not go to education, let, you know, even as it sticks right now, the NLC and TUC mm. have declared a nationwide strike beginning from on the 3rd of October. But let's come to the police. The police is a regimental force. How much is the Nigerian leadership voting towards ensuring quality condition of service for these men? The Nigerian leadership must be able to interrogate the low remuneration given to the Nigerian police and security agents. Because if you are not paying them, we are not boosting their morale. A nation who will not, who will not, that will not pay the security agent adequately is pushing this same security agent to go into crime. A nation that would not give adequate remuneration mm. to its security forces is pushing the security forces into extortion because the same market that we are going to, the police officers are going. The same schools that our children are going, the children of the security forces are going. There are no special schools for them. Go to the police barracks across the across the, the federation and see how 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 dirty and denigrating it is. Some persons, the average Nigerian will not even argue to stay in such barracks. And you keep those men there. 
They should come out in the morning and still defend a nation that is placing them far beyond their contemporaries? No! The Nigerian leadership must be able to work on these uh, deficiencies that is coercing and busting these security agents into the corner of corruption. The Nigerian government should be able to take care of its officers as you are telling them to compromise security. If the government, the leadership, fails to attend to security forces, you are empowering opposition forces like the bandits, the Boko Haram, the terrorists, and evil cultists to get and score shit points over all officers. How can you account for a government that allows courtists to gruesomely murder a DPO openly, video it, and put it online with the private part of the, the murder DPO becoming public, with the head being caught, burying him in a shallow grave? This is because, as a people, we have not been able to put together the indices that should give adequate morale to our officers. How can you say that these same men, these same hoodlums, these same courtes that perpetrated this act one month after are still in the streets? They have not been smoked out of their hiding. They have been captured in, 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 in small quantity, in elements. One being captured today, another one being captured next week. Next, no. It is a no-no. If this officer has devoted his life into fighting for the people of Aouda and River State as much as fighting for Nigerians, he does not deserve the slow investigation in smoking at these hoodlums that, that killed him. Okay, now let, let's look at um, investigation because that's another major one we'll look at. And, and, and looking at how it has evolved over the years. Uh, before now, investigation is all about getting the suspect, uh, going through this uh, torture that has been, or rather, uh, has been one of the cause of that very protest. And we're happy all of that seems to be dying out. On the mind, we still hear uh, some cases of it. Now, let's look at that. Uh, investigation and looking at how it is in other climes where we bring technology into most of this crime fighting. How much of an importance or important is that in helping to deal with the issue of crime and reducing the level of criminality among um, the country? Because that's where every other country goes now. As little as I ever saw a recent video um, of a, a country in Latin America. And, 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 and if you look at their GDP compared to ours, uh, you, you smile about it, but technology has been brought in to better help their own police force in actualizing their mandate of protecting the citizens. <laughs> when we talk about investigation in Nigeria, I, I may think that um, we are still um, at the preliminary kindergarten level of investigation because investigation in civilized clients are being driven with technology civilization and intelligence why is it not investigation it's investigation because you are going to carry out inner work before coming out openly that's why it's investigation in but we are seeing a a, 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 a a point in the nigerian state where police arrest before investigating in civilized crime you are supposed to investigate before you arrest before you arrest now you arrest. It happens almost every time. Even with our EFCC, it happens with the DSS, it happens with the police, the military. You arrest. Then you want to obtain statements. You understand? That's why a lot of government agencies in court they lose their cases. Because you have no case. When you arrest, the the suspect that you have arrested now has the opportunity of his close associate and friend covering up their track. So you are supposed to investigate before arrest. When you investigate, everything will be brought to fall. When you make an arrest, you issue an arrest warrant, the moment the person is brought 
into custody, you should be able to allow the person as regard to the administration of criminal justice act, call his lawyer or somebody he trusts to be there. They should be able to confront the person with facts for the result of the investigation you have done. Confront the person. This thing at this point was like this. Can you look at the screen? The person looks at the screen, sees the CCTV that has got, what do you have to say about this? The person is confused. The person has no other option than to tell you the truth because he's been confronted with evidence that has been powered by your intelligence-driven investigation. But when you arrest, you are, you are forcing a statement out of the person. We are still very much uh, involved in analog analogous policing. What are we doing? It's an analog policing. You cannot run a digital society in the analog way. That is why the, the police needs to improve. And if the police are improving, government needs to improve. How do we improve? The number one thing that you must do to improve is power. God could not even do anything without power. That is why as I created the earth, the first thing he said, let there be light. So when you don't even have light in the first place, CCTVs in the street, they are not working. How do you cop crime? So you, all you are saying is when the police are not doing magic in them. Police cannot do magic. The government should do more. The government should bring about equity for crying out loud. How much? How much? Uh, how much do we can do we get a, 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 a rocket driven drones? A drone that will even go to the forest, pick every angle of where this bandit. Security agent caught it, they are hiding and send a coordinate signal to the headquarters. A coordinate signal. The same drone will tell you the safe paths of entering into that place without any of those men, any of the bandits, or any, knowing that security forces are coming. It was, uh, 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 we can fact check this, that some years ago during the um, Jonathan administration, there, there, there is this uh, uh, um, um, uh, 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 something that played out yeah. yeah. that an American was kidnapped, mm. that the, the Americans, American security, entered into Nigeria, rescued their citizen, and flew him back to that country without the knowledge of our security people. They picked the signal, knew where this person is, and as we speak right now, Nigerians have not won. But America is already warning their people, don't go to Delta State. Don't go to Imo in, uh, 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 in Nigeria. Don't go to Abia State. Back in the White House, they are already issuing warning to their citizens in Nigeria of black spots in Nigeria not to go. That's intelligent-based security being driven with technology and civilization. So uh, investigation in Nigeria is somehow backward because also the government has not invested in security and giving them those serious equipment and ammunition, train them to use such equipment to fight crime. What happened within the, 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 the space of um, the, the DPO, the uh, mother DPO going there, it was told that they will run out of ammunition, that the men had to retreat. But because he wants to have results, he still wants to put forward a fight for Nigeria, and that led to his death. And Nigeria should be able, Nigerians, the government should be able to deliver justice to SP Baku. I'm calling on the SSS, I'm calling on the military. If the police have not been able to, to, to advance more in terms of smoking out those criminals, I'm calling on the DSS to join. There should be justice for SP Baku. Well, thank you so much for that. And uh, we need to go on a break now. I'll plead with you to hold on. We need to go on a break now. But we're still talking about improving that working relationship between Nigerians and security agencies. As we look at uh, what happened on, uh, in October 2020, and uh, a need for us to build that to improve the security that we truly need as a people, especially at this trying time. Well, and, uh, well, it looks as if security seems to be at the lowest end. But anyway, don't worry about it. We'll come back, have more discussion centered on the big story for today.